And then the third third machete in the pack. Let's see how that does. There you go. There you go. Mmm, yeah. <laughs> See some sparks coming off of that thing. Slight bend. Edge doesn't look too messed up. I wish this camera would focus a little better. Oh yeah, very slight. Not nothing too big though. Huh. Boom. There you go. I see a big gold cut right there. <laughs> In all fairness, uh, the jugs do cut a lot easier when they're full. Yeah. Just a little more water in this one. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> this doesn't deliver the same kind of energy the other ones do. Well, it is a, almost like a kitchen knife. Whoa! You batted that all the way to the tree, dude. No, nah, that's not, not a wood, good wood chopper. Well, just think of it as a combat kitchen knife. <laughs> Fourth machete in the series. Pretty nice one, actually. <laughs> I like it. It's, it's light. <laughs> There you go. There you go. Cuts better than the other one. Watch your leg when you're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. There you go. Oh, Big splash. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Cuts, cuts easy. There you go. A good sign. This doesn't quite dig deep when you're doing this stuff. You know, it has more of an edge than any of the other ones. Yeah. Whoa, shakes. Last machete in the series. I like the edge on this one. Let's see how it does. There you go, you fucking sent that fly into the stratosphere. Oh, <laughs> whoa, dude. There you go. Yeah. Let it rain on me, bro. Whoa. <laughs> There you go, you chopped it. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> that sounded really good.
There you go. Huh. How's the blade doing? Not too bad. Is it straight still? More or less. Yep. Maybe very slight bend. No, not quite. It always had a little slight bend too. And here's the damage from that one. And the damage from the other one. And this upper part is just basically getting rent asunder. <laughs>